Domestic geese are kept by humans as poultry for their meat, eggs and down feathers since ancient times. Approximately 700 million geese are slaughtered each year for meat worldwide. In Europe, Northern Africa, and Western Asia, the original domesticated geese are derived from the greylag goose, Ansa Ansa. In Eastern Asia, the original domesticated geese are derived from the swan goose, Ansa Signoides. These are commonly known as Chinese geese. Both have been widely introduced in more recent times, and modern flocks in both areas and elsewhere, such as Australia and North America, may consist of either species or hybrids between them. There are 11 standard breeds geese which are divided into three classes, heavy, medium and light. This table shows classes and characteristics of the different breeds. Emden geese African geese Sebastopol geese Pilgrim geese American buff geese Saddleback Pomeranian geese Chinese geese Tufted Roman geese Canada geese Egyptian geese Geese belong to a group of birds of the Anatidae family, which also includes swans and ducks. The goose is a domestic fowl, with the male referred to as a gander and the young as a gosling. Geese can live for up to 25 years. Feeding geese is a somewhat demanding process. One of the main differences between geese and other species of poultry concerns the digestive system of the goose, which only allows it to eat grass. 
Compared with other birds like chickens, geese are much more resistant to disease and grow quite quickly. A group of geese, known as a gaggle, consists of one male gander and at least three females of a heavy breed or five females of a light breed. Geese are good at guarding the house and other birds, they have a good memory and give the alert by honking. Their meat, liver, feathers and down are very much sought after. Eggs should be collected at least twice, preferably four times, daily. Natural incubation produces the best percentage of goslings hatched. Eggs for incubation should be stored in a cool room at 15 degrees Celsius. The actual period of incubation of goose eggs varies slightly with the breed. Some eggs from the lighter breeds may start pipping after 28 days, while eggs from the larger breeds may take 35 days. It may take up to 3 days for hatching to be completed. When they hatch, goslings are covered with a layer of yellowish and grey down. After it hatches, place the chick in an incubator or any healthy environment at a temperature of 35 or 37 degrees Celsius with infrared lighting. Then leave it without food for 24 hours to allow ingestion of the yolk. Afterwards, put the chick in a brooder until its feathers appear. Young geese are raised in two stages, goslings aged from 0 to around 15 days, goslings from 15 days to 3 to 5 months old. The goslings lack basic movement skills for the first week. From the second week on, they grow, get stronger and become independent of their mother. The litter must be kept dry at all times to avoid mold. During the first week, plan on one square meter for 8 to 10 goslings. Then gradually reduce the number of animals, keeping 3 to 4 geese, 3 to 12 weeks per square meter. And finally, just two adult geese per square meter, the ambient temperature should be at least 24 degrees Celsius for the first week, and 18 degrees Celsius at the age of four weeks. If the ambient temperature is lower, lamps need to be provided. From three weeks, let the goslings graze and keep them under shelter with two animals per square meter. To facilitate the feeding of goslings by way of plot rotation, grazing land of 40 to 50 square meters per adult goose needs to be provided. Geese eat a lot and put on weight very quickly, though, omnivorous, they prefer to eat vegetable matter. Their food can therefore be made up of grass, vegetables, cabbage leaves, lettuce, etc., seeds, waste, kitchen scraps, etc. Mix the food with water to obtain a paste and give it to the geese once a day, put good quality clean water in a drinking trough. Sexing geese can be difficult in breeds that do not exhibit sexual dimorphism or in goslings. The gander is generally taller, has a longer neck and is more robust. The female's cry is higher and clearer than that of the male. Geese can reproduce after one year, a gander, starts to produce sperm from the age of 30 weeks, seven and a half months. 
while geese of the most prolific breed start laying eggs at 32 weeks, 8 months. As with any breeding, it is necessary to select the most promising animals, those displaying minimum defects, keep the strongest animals in good health and well developed. Geese with drooping or turned up wings should be eliminated from the reproduction process. Avoid inbreeding by separating the young from their parents and putting them in a separate enclosure if possible. Otherwise, separate either the young or the parents by exchanging the breeding male, for example, and only keeping the females of the gaggle. Geese prefer to mate in water and very often at around 9 o'clock in the morning, but it can also happen in the open air. A goose can still lay even in the absence of a pool of water, but the likelihood that the eggs laid will be fertile decreases. Especially if the animals are not well fed, mating and egg laying is seasonal for geese. The laying season can last 5 to 6 months. In general, a female goose will lay around 30 to 50 eggs in a season. A goose egg weighs 200 to 300 grams, while a chicken egg varies between 50 and 65 grams. The calorie content of a goose egg is approximately 145 kilocalories per 100 grams. As they generally lay in the morning, the ideal situation would be to lock the geese in at night and let them out from 10 a.m. To ensure that the goose always lays in the same place, provide nesting areas by always leaving an egg there. A female can produce for 10 years, though production does slow down from the fourth year on. In intensive farming, breeding stock is therefore changed after the fourth year. In more extensive farming, breeding birds are changed after seven years. It is preferable to use artificial techniques on account of the goose being a poor incubator. Never incubate the eggs on the day they are laid, otherwise the chicks will emerge before maturing completely. Store and keep the eggs in a cool place, turn them from time to time and wait for 3 to 7 days after laying before incubating them. Intended for the industrial manufacture of garments and duvets, the feathers and down represent a significant source of revenue. They come from animals to be slaughtered and natural molting, harvested dry feathers are the most sought after. Before plucking geese should therefore be kept in a clean, dry place. The feathers should consequently be packaged in containers that do not cause condensation or humidity. Also making sure that the feathers and down do not stick to sides. 
It is important to emphasize that quill feathers from the tail and wings are not taken into account because they do not have any commercial value. With a gaggle of geese, it is possible to produce an average of 90 geese. Corresponding to 90 kilograms of feather and down per gaggle, 81 kilograms of feathers and 9 kilograms of down. One kilogram of feathers or down costs more than 10 euros. With the possibility of selling what is produced for at least 900 euros, and assuming production costs of around 400 euros, the farmer will generate an annual profit of 500 euros. Approximately 700 million geese are slaughtered each year for meat worldwide. It is particularly important to direct meat production towards the end of the year, when more than half the demand for geese is concentrated. Geese are sold whole or cut into pieces, an adult goose costs between 17 euros and 39 euros, at least 4 euros and 25 cents per kilogram. Breeding stock can also be sold for breeding, the price of a pair of geese varies between 45 euros and 65 euros. and a pair of goslings sells for almost 15 euros. With a gaggle of geese, it is possible to produce around 90 geese per year. Where the goslings are intended for fattening and are sold five to seven months afterwards. They will weigh an average of 7 kilograms, production of 630 kilograms of live weight annually, corresponding to 441 kilograms of eviscerated carcasses ready for cooking. The cost of raising the geese is around 1,500 euros. If an adult goose is sold for an average price of 30 euros, the proceeds are estimated at 2,700 euros, producing an annual profit of at least 1,200 euros.